Okay. Uh, this is another uh, topic uh, which is continued from the uh, previous tutorials, uh, which was discussed about the uh, pro, uh, random variables in probability. Random variables generally it is the simplest form of functions which can uh, uh, just which cannot be uh, represent an event. So. Uh, random variables can be classified or uh, uh, there are two uh, types of random variables in probability. Thus, random variables uh, are discrete and continuous random variables. What is discrete random variables mean? Discrete uh, random variables uh, with uh, random variables with uh, a countable number of possible values are called discrete random variables, which and numbers, because uh, actually random num uh, variables uh, can be represented as uh, a numeric. Uh, the values of random variables can be numeric values. So thus num numeric va uh, values uh, can be classified as uh, discrete or continuous uh, numeric values. So we can classify uh, if the random vari uh, variable values are countable, we can classify it as discrete random variables. Otherwise, uh, if that values are continuous, we can uh, classify it as continuous random variables. So in general, random variables can be classified as uh, discrete and continuous random variables because based on the uh, values countable or uncountable. So if the random variables with a countable number of possible values are called discrete uh, random variables. So with a countable number of possible values. So the countable, the number of possible values are countable. So they are discrete random variables simply. For example, running a regular six-sided die would be considered a, a discrete random variable because the outcome options are limited to the numbers on the die. Here, all the dice are, uh, all the sides uh, or the outcomes of the uh, numbers of the dice are represented as uh, numbers, countable numbers from one up to six, from one up to six. So this uh, type of uh, variables is called discrete random variable, discrete, because the numbers, we can easily count the numbers which can uh, represent the possible outcomes of this uh, die, rolling die. Okay. Uh, the other uh, variable is continuous random variables. When uh, the possible values of a random variables are uncountable, not countable, not uh, like a uh, discrete variable like this. So if the possible values uh, or the possible values of a random variables are uncountable, so they are continuous random variables. So simply, these are generally measurement variables. We can just measure uh, the something. So measurement variables, because measurement variables are more precise, for example, meters. Meters are uh, a measurement. So we can uh, simply uh, measure uh, the height and weights of something. So it's maybe uh, in the decimal point. So there, there may be something uh, uh, uncountable numbers. So that could be uh, continuous random variable that could be uh, so centimeters millimeters etc for example the temperature in a server on a random chosen day is a continuous random variable because we can always be more precise about the temperature about by expanding to another uh, decimal place for example uh, if today today's temperature is 96 degrees it may be expanded to 96.44 within a house a difference or a minutes difference or something, a day's difference. So that is uh, a precise values which can be represented as a decimal uh, number, which uh, numbers can be uh, a decimal. So that type of variables is called continuous random variables. So very important, uh, especially when you, when you uh, come to machine learning, those two kind of uh, uh, variable values uh, are very very important. We should we we should have to uh, 
classify the possible outcomes of that uh, either uh, continuous or discrete variables based on that uh, uh, variable values depend on countable or accountable. Okay, all right. So if you, if you get understand about this two uh, random variables, uh, let's have uh, two questions. So uh, you are going to answer uh, and you can put your answer in the comment box of this uh, video to, uh, get and to know about uh, how, how, how you get understand about these uh, random variables. If you now uh, knew about this uh, topic, you can watch the previous topic because of you should understand about the random variables. What is, what is the random variables? How, how can you uh, uh, choose random variables uh, using Python programming? You can watch the previous uh, video tutorials to understand. Okay, suppose you have a random variable that represents the time it takes a random sel randomly selected person to run a mile. Is this variable discrete or continuous? Just put your answer as continuous or discrete in the comment box. And the second question is, suppose you have a random variable that represents the individual pieces of candy a randomly selected child receives on a candy giving holiday. Is this variable discrete or continuous? Just post your answer in the comment box of this video tutorials and I'll review and uh, give a feedback for uh, your answer. Just uh, if for the first question, if the answer is continuous, just uh, write one continuous. If the answer is discrete, uh, one uh, discrete. And for the, the second question, that same thing, just uh, two, uh, put your answer continuous or uh, discrete. So that's it right. Okay, this is uh, the two uh, types of variables. And uh, next time we will see more details about uh, probability distribution in machine learning uh, using Python programming. Thanks for watching.